What's happening, everybody? I'm going to show you a couple of things on this video. It might be broken up into separate videos as we get more in depth into it, but this is for Mac users specifically. And what I'm doing is I'm going to show you how eventually we can get to record audio directly from our web browser, like a YouTube video or whatever, and record it directly into Adobe Audition 13.0. And this should also uh, work for 3.0 whenever we do the um, Windows tutorial. So we'll get back to that later. Right now, Mac 13.0. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you need to jump on Chrome or whatever. You need to Google I show you letter u audio capture so you want to just google that and this is like the first thing that comes up on google okay it is install i show you audio capture now you want to select the one that is appropriate for whatever os that you are using on mac and then you click the green thing you go through the installation process it's already installed on mine it'll take you just a few minutes to install it and run the whole thing download that okay so that's step one then we need to go to the little magnifying glass up at the top and we want to type in audio so at the top we type in audio and then we're after the audio MIDI setup so then we're going to double click that it'll pull up our audio devices that we have so what we need to do is add what's called a multi output device and you simply do that by hitting the plus sign down here and then you want to select create multi output device when you do that it will bring up this window right here just like it has that mine's already populated it's the exact same thing multi output device we want to create that then when you're in it first things first select built-in output for your master device you know 41 44 one is ideal because that's standard on basically any broadcast you can put it at 48 if you want 44 one is perfect um, then let's go ahead and click use on I show you audio capture and built-in output and I also do drift correction on both of them no I don't want to do that yet I'm gonna to get to that in a second thank you very much Mac um, drift correction I like to click on both of those so kind of convoluted I know there's still a couple more steps <clears throat> so now in your system preferences we want to go to sound so in system preferences, click it, do whatever you got to do to get to it. You can also type it into the magnifying glass. Click on sound. Now we want to switch off of our headphone or our speakers that it's broadcasting out of. We want to switch to the multi-output device that we just created. So now understand this. When you're going back and forth and you're not recording off of your web browser anymore, you want to deselect this and reselect your headphones or your speakers or whatever you have. But right now, we're going to multi-output device. So now, let's jump on in to Adobe Audition 13.0. Now, after we've done all that. Now, if you go to your default, your default stereo input on one of your tracks that you're going to select to record on, click the little arrow here. Now, my initial setup is for my USB mic, which is this bad boy right here. So I don't want that right now. I want something different. So I'm going to audio hardware. And then these two categories right here are what I'm going to look at. Right now, this mic is selected as what's going to record. This is what's going to be picked up in Adobe Audition. I want to change that because I want to pick up on YouTube. So I'm going to go not to uh, the built-in mic or no input. I'm going to that I show you audio capture we just downloaded. Then we created the multi-output thing for it. Okay, so I'm going to click it. Multi-output device is set up as my output option, which I like that because I can record on other software using that. So I'm going to click it to that. So my input should be I show you audio capture. My output can be multi-output device. Then I hit OK. Now, if all things go according to plan I should be able to arm this track record then switch over to my track on YouTube an extreme more than words on 89.9 9. so cool right so <clears throat> It's actually pretty simple once you get everything set up in your MIDI multi-output device. you got to create one of those. And then you go into sound and you switch from headphones to your multi-output device. It's actually really simple. Then you've got the audio. 
and it is perfect crystal clear audio this is uh airworthy right out of the gate so let's turn it up This is just like a real recorded track. It's picking up the audio just perfectly from any video on YouTube that you want to do. We can do whatever, pick it up in Adobe Audition 13.0. If you have any questions or concerns or you just don't understand it or it's not working for you, don't hesitate to email, call, or text. I know this one's kind of a big one and it's a little trickier than the stuff we've been doing up to this point, but you can do it. It's not that bad. Let me know. Thanks.